Oh yeah, I don't have much time. Uh, my video is running out. Um, so I pretty much just do a slight angle out, but then I cut in to the leg. Um, I want to kind of bring the leg back. So I'm taking more off the uh, off the front of the leg and leaving more at the back. That way, when I cut this in. You can see the kind of uh, chest I'm creating there. Um, so I'm just going to bring that in like that. Right now I'm trying to do this a little bit fast because I know I'm running out of video. Um, you don't want them like really bulbousy here in the puppy trim. Um, you kind of want it to be fairly straight down. I just put a little bit of curve in there, but then I'm going to pull it back um, into this front leg. And then kind of the whole front leg down. Um, from that point, I'm going to bring it in just a bit, just to make sure that it really looks like his leg is set under him. rushing a little bit because I don't have much time on my thing. So most of all my lines are set. Um, front, top line, back in here, stomach, or underline. Um, so now pretty much all I'm going to do is just tie things together. I tend to, again, like I said, kind of flat here. So I'm wanting to get bring this kind of straight in. I'm just going to continue this line into that. Um, so as you can see, I'm kind of getting that straight to the kind of pin bone there. And then you can just round it a bit. Um, it used to be that you would leave quite a point there. Um, we don't really leave such a point there anymore, um, but I still like a fairly kind of tight line there. Um, and again, you know, then you just kind of tie everything in, fiddle with it. Um, I sometimes will get a line here because I do like them to be quite flat up top, so I just have to make sure that I'm blending that line in. Um, so that when he moves, you can't really see it when he's not moving. Um, or if the wind blows it, it's not this big line that's flopping around. Um, so it's just kind of blended in. Um, I don't want to bring chest, round the chest to fit into this. Um, so I'm just going to kind of, you want this to be a, a smooth line. You don't want this to come pointing down here and then this to start up here. You want it all to round through um, so it looks like one piece. Uh, and then again, I hate doing this side. Again, you don't want to touch your mane. Um, if you feel like you want to touch your mane, wait until you have it sprayed up, either at a show or before going to a show. Um, because otherwise you can sometimes take off too much. Um, because you don't know exactly how it's going to sit when you do uh, spray it up. So you do kind of want to wait um, until you get to a show, or a, not even to a show, but to um, to spray it up before you tinker with that too much, because um, that takes forever to grow. So you don't want to. Uh, I mean, he grows he grows quite fast, actually. I mean, from where you saw him to um, at the start, that his last haircut was probably the end of November. So it's been about 
a month um, without a haircut, and that's how much I've, you know, had to whack off of him. Um, so he grows quite, quite a bit of hair, which is why I do like to keep up with it, um, because otherwise it is quite a lot of work, and you have to really have to find your lines again. I mean, it's always good to reevaluate your trim. Uh, especially on a dog that's um, maturing because um, otherwise um, you know you might not be doing what's best for that dog and again like I said I'm new to this this is what I picked up from my breeder from looking at pictures from um, tips from other handlers that have helped me out at shows um, and uh, just trial and error um, you know, I have pictures from his first couple shows or I'm just like what the hell was I thinking um, but uh, at each show I get them together a little bit more and he matures a little bit more and uh, uh, you know, it kind of looks better and better each time. Um, he's a special. Um, he finished his championship in about seven and a half months. Um, owner handled and groomed um, in two shows. Um, and so we're trying to special him now, which is difficult when they are puppies. But, you know, I'm mostly doing it for fun, and, uh, and so.